Hey, business owners, I'm Marvelyn Brown with Making It Remotely. And today I'm going to give you 10 social media tips that you can use to generate leads. So if you're brand new to digital marketing, you may not know what some of these um, terms are, but we're going to go over some of those today. And we're going to show you how to use social media because a lot of us are doing it wrong. I did it wrong for a long time uh, when I started out. I didn't have any idea how to use social media for business. So we're all pretty used to using social media for personal reasons. So we post, you know, we um, have things that we share with our friends and family. But when it comes to our business, sometimes we just get lost in how to post without coming off as spammy and salesy and all the things that we don't want to be, right? So this video is going to help you in that way and then you're also going to learn about uh, what your goals should be when it comes to posting um, on social media for your business so let's take a look and get started so this is a um, this is a post that I did a while back and I'm going to share that with you and what my goal is with this is to um, put together a little mini training that I can um, share with um, people in my group people on my podcast people who subscribe because we're going into one of the biggest selling seasons of the year this is the month of august so it's already kicked off because we're right in the middle of back to school shopping so believe it or not back to school is the biggest next to christmas back to school is the biggest uh, one of the biggest selling seasons of the entire year. Now that includes back to school. It also includes back to college. So think about all the people who have kids. Right now they're getting those school supplies, those lunch boxes, those backpacks, clothing items, anything that their kids need to go to school, those items are flying off the shelves. Now we also have back to college. So that means things for dorm rooms like microwaves, bedding, um, rugs, curtains, things that kids are gonna need to decorate. All of those things are also flying off the shelves. So if you're a business owner, whether you are someone who sells those kinds of items or not, this is the time of year when you need to be getting your um, social media together. If you don't have social media down pat, we want to help you to improve so that you can start taking advantage of some of these um, opportunities. So the primary purpose of social media is really to help you build a list. A lot of people don't start out um, with this philosophy. They uh, post random stuff because, you know, a lot of times we don't know what to post when it comes to our business. So just think about the idea of building a list. Now, if you don't know what building a list means, that means that you are going to be building an audience of people that you can talk to about your business. Now, who doesn't want an audience of people that you can talk to about your business? I mean, most of us, if we're in business to make money, we need an audience of people that we can talk to. But we don't want to just talk to anyone. We want to talk to people who are interested, people who... Um, are going to be a good fit for our business. People who are, you know, genuinely looking for solutions that we can provide. So when building our list, we want to keep those folks in mind. So social media marketing, when done well, is one of the best ways to generate leads or build your list or build your audience. Those things mean the same thing. So this article or this training is going to help you build your list faster so that you can talk to more people who are likely to uh, become loyal customers. So when you think about your social media, you want to think about your profiles. You want to think about the content you're creating, whether you're creating videos or blog posts or podcasts, you know, whatever you're creating, you want to keep in mind that you want to use these tools and resources that you're creating on your social media um, profiles, on your social media platforms, because these are going to be the places where your ideal customers hang out. All right, so let's get into it. 
Now this video that you're seeing right now, I'm going to replace that with the video that I'm doing today. So when you check out this article, I'm going to put a link to it in the training. I'm going to put together a training packet. It's going to have uh, this video and maybe a couple of other videos with a social media planner and a checklist. So the checklist is going to be available right here. And then I'm also going to have a link to it in the training. But let's get into this, um, in these, into these 10 steps that you want to take. And some of these steps, you're going to find that you've already done this, but you want to make sure that you have all these pieces working together. So number one, you want to sign up with an email marketing provider. So I have put links in each one of these to additional content. So for example, here is a link to AWeber. I've done a video and a whole training um, on how to get started with email marketing. So if you're not really sure what to do with email marketing, you want to check out this page. It's going to tell you why you need email. Um, and then there's a video here that shows you how to get started with AWeber. Now you can get started with pretty much any email marketing provider for free. Uh, most email marketing providers will give you a certain number of subscribers that you can get signed up for free. So for example, with AWeber, you know, you can get up to 500 subscribers for free and they will allow you to build a landing page. And that's what we're going to talk about a little bit later. But you can do pretty much everything that we're going to talk about in this training when you sign up for AWeber. And this is going to also, this video will show you what you need to look for in an email marketing provider. So you might want to check this out. Or if you have your own email marketing provider, then we're going to be talking about how you can utilize that uh, service here in a moment. So if you haven't signed up for an email marketing provider, you can check that out. And um, I kind of go through some of the other companies that you might consider as well. The second thing you want to do is you want to create a lead magnet. So a lead magnet is a valuable free resource. And that is something that um, once you have identified, you know, who you are, what you do, how you help your ideal customers, you're going to know what is valuable to your audience. So what might be valuable to my audience may not be valuable to your audience. So you really need to think that through. It's an individual thing, you know, based on your business and um, how you actually help your ideal customers. Um, if you don't know who your ideal customers are, I'm pretty sure I have a link here. So, okay, right here, there's a link to an article that will help you to evaluate who your ideal customers are. It's very important for you to know who your ideal customers are when creating a lead magnet. That way you can create something that is going to be valuable. Now, when you are creating this lead magnet, you want to think about helping your ideal customers either resolve an issue that they're struggling with. You want them to basically stop the bleeding, whatever it is that is keeping them up at night or, you know, causing them to have a bump in the road or a hiccup in their lives, you want to help them get over that hump with your lead magnet. So I've given you a couple of examples of lead magnets. You might want to check those out. And then um, again, here is a link that you can use to more information on how to evaluate your ideal customers. Number three, you want to create an opt-in form. Now, if you're not sure what an opt-in form is, I'm going to show you what that is in just a moment. You've probably um, signed up with other uh, companies and with other brands using an opt-in form. So when I show you what it is, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. But as a um, business owner and as a social media um, participant, you're going to want to have an opt-in form and your opt-in form is going to be something that you place on a landing page. Now your opt-in form is going to connect to your email marketing provider. So your landing page 
and your opt-in form are gonna work together with your email marketing provider. And that's why it's really important for you to have a um, email marketing provider that is trusted and known. You want to work with a company that's gonna give you, um, you know, the ability to send out um, content to your audience, this audience that you're building, right? So um, the form, the opt-in form is the form that potential customers are gonna use to give you their email address in exchange for your lead magnet. So just think about that for a moment. You're gonna create this valuable resource, something that your ideal customers are gonna to love to uh, receive, right? And the only thing they have to do to get this lead magnet is give you their email address. So there are several tools that you can use to create an opt-in form. The tool that we use is called Thrive Leads. There are other ones out there. If you're on WordPress though, you might wanna check out Thrive Leads because they really do a great job of coming up with um, forms so that you're not having to start from scratch. These are optimized forms and they provide them in the form of a template. So you can take their templates. I think they have over 400 and 50 templates that you can use as a starting point. So you use those templates, they already look amazing. All you have to do is add your details. So you would basically add your uh, lead magnet, you would put in your details, and then you would be off to the races. You don't have to start from scratch. You don't have to have, you know, awful looking, um, landing pages and opt-in forms if you use a tool like Thrive Leads. And there are other tools out there as well. Now, I just wanna point, um, point you over to a, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you this because it's on the same side as I am. But anyway, this is a um, opt-in form right here. And this is basically an opt-in form that you can use to join our VIP list. And that is located here in my sidebar. And the great thing about Thrive Leads is that they allow you to put your um, opt-in forms wherever you need them, whether you wanna put them in the sidebar or you wanna put them in the middle of your content. And I'm gonna show you here, as we scroll down, we'll have another um, opt-in form that I'm gonna point out to you as well. Okay, so then number four, you're gonna create an opt-in landing page. So this is gonna be the landing page that uh, gives uh, your potential followers or your potential leads the um, lead magnet. So you have your opt-in form and that opt-in form is gonna go on your landing page and then the landing page is going to give your uh, potential customers the information they need to know whether your um, your lead magnet is gonna be a good fit for them. So you wanna make sure that that lead magnet is gonna be something that your ideal customers will, number one, they're gonna automatically know that it's something that will help them solve their problem, whatever that problem is. And it's also gonna be something that will give them an outcome or a transformation of some kind. So they're gonna go from point A where they're confused, they're upset, they're um, struggling, and then when they use your lead magnet, they're gonna come out on the other side as someone who knows what they're doing, someone who's happy and satisfied. And so that is gonna make it worth their while to get your, um, your lead magnet. But you're gonna put that lead magnet on your landing page and you're gonna package it together with your, um, with your opt-in form. So this landing page is gonna be where you're gonna be sending traffic um, from social media. Okay, so then this is the, the uh, opt-in form rather that I was telling you about. So basically this opt-in form is gonna deliver the planner that I'm gonna give you free as part of this training. If you're not a part of this training and you just kinda land on this page, this is an article that I wrote and so someone who just kind of lands on this page is gonna be able to sign up and they will be able to get this planner as well. 
But if you take part in the training, you're going to get this as part of that uh, training resource. But basically, this is an opt-in form. So it basically tells the person what they can expect to get when they get this free resource. So build a loyal following. Now, what business owner doesn't want a loyal following, right? And so you're going to be able to build a loyal following with an effective social media strategy. And you're going to be able to build that social media strategy using our social media planner. So all you'll need to do or all the person will need to do is enter their first name and email address. The first name is optional. Um, the only thing we require is an email address and then they can click that button and get their free planner. Okay, number five, how does everything work together? So I've outlined four things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need, and let's just kind of recap. You're gonna need a email marketing provider, a lead magnet, an opt-in form, and an opt-in landing page. So how do these things work together? So in order for all this to work together, for your lead generation element to work, you're gonna need to set up a connection with your email marketing provider. And that connection is gonna be between your landing page and your opt-in form. So someone is going to come to your site, they're gonna see this great lead magnet and they're gonna to wanna to get it, right? So in order for them to get it, they're gonna enter their email address and then they're gonna automatically get this uh, planner. So you need something working in the background that number one, when someone submits their email address, you're gonna want that email address the next time you're ready to send out an email, right? So this person enters, the person who is your potential customer enters their email address and you need something that will communicate, you know, transmit this data to your email marketing provider. And that is gonna happen through this form. So when you connect uh, using this API connection, um, you will, you know, this is gonna be a seamless operation. And when someone enters their email address, it will automatically be sent to your email marketing provider. Now, if you wanna learn how this works, I did put a link to a video demonstration uh, of how this works and how you get that set up using Thrive Leads. But just know that everything is gonna to work together to generate that lead for you when someone fills out your form. And not only is the email address gonna be transmitted to your email marketing provider, you're also going to have the planner delivered to that person via email to the email address that they entered in this form. So all of this is gonna be happening in the background, right? When someone, um, let's say that you're out at your child's um, Maybe your child is having a football game or a basketball game or a softball game. You're going to be at the softball game and then all of a sudden you're going to get an email notification that someone just signed up for your, um, let's say in the case of, you know, this example, the social media planner. So you're going to set this up and we show you how to do all of this, but you're going to set all of this up so that when someone hits this button and says, get your free planner, this free planner is gonna automatically be sent to that person via email while you're out at your child's game, right? Or while you're out with friends or while you're sitting watching TV, all of this stuff is gonna be happening in the background. Now, the other thing that makes this really great is that you can also set up some of these same systems to sell products and services. So in addition to collecting emails, you can have your system set up so that it sells your products while you're out doing other stuff, right? So this is really a neat little system, in my opinion, is worth its weight in gold. This is how you are gonna be able to make uh, passive income. And you've probably heard me talk about passive income before. But this is how it all works together, right? So you want a system like this to work for your business 24 hours a day, seven days a week while you're out doing other things. Now, you might be asking, how is this 
something that uh, works with social media because I really haven't mentioned too much about social media, right? Well, we're gonna get to that in a moment. Just know that you're gonna set up a page on your either your blog or you're gonna use some kind of landing page software, but you're gonna set up a page somewhere that does all of the heavy lifting for you by incorporating these four elements that we have just talked about, okay? All right, so let's just continue down our list. So this is number five, how everything works together. All right, so then number six, this is how social media is going to be incorporated into all of this um, activity. So you wanna have a call to action in all of your posts, right? So let's go back to our landing page. Now this landing page is going to have a link associated with it, right? So whenever you create a landing page, there is a link that you can use to drive traffic or to send people to that landing page. So what you're gonna do, once you have your landing page um, set up, you've got your opt-in form, you've got your lead magnet, and you've got your email marketing provider. All of that is working together on this landing page. You're gonna take the link from this landing page and you're gonna start using it in your social media posts. And so the calls to action in all of your posts or in most of your posts, I won't say that you have to you know, post all the time to your um, landing page. You don't have to send people to your landing page all the time. That would get to be a little bit boring. But what you wanna do is you wanna have a call to action in a certain percentage of your social media posts that lead people to your landing page. And when they get to this landing page, you're gonna have this amazing lead magnet and you're gonna have this amazing offer set up that tells people who you are, what you do, and how you can help them, right? You're gonna offer them this, land, this uh, lead magnet that will solve some of their problems. And so a lot of people, from social media, from that post, those posts that you are creating on social media, you're gonna sign up to become a lead. And that is how you're gonna build this amazing audience of people that you can talk to about your business, right? So you wanna create calls to action in your posts that help your ideal customers take the actions that you want them to take whether you want them to sign up for your list using that great landing page that we just created, or whether you want them to buy something, or maybe you just want them to um, be aware of your business. So maybe you're not gonna ask them to sign up. Maybe you're just gonna create some uh, buzz about something that's going on in your business. There are lots of different things that you can do with social media to create awareness. You can also do certain things that will create um, sales. And then there are also things that you can create, you can do to create or generate leads. So you always wanna have calls to action in all of your posts. Now, this is just an example of the lead generation process, but basically you are going to attract potential customers to your business using your lead magnet. And then once someone becomes a lead, they are gonna be a part of your community. And then once they're a part of your community, you're gonna be sending them um, regular content. You're gonna send them to your scarcity campaigns. You're gonna be giving them discounts in your shop. You're gonna be giving them valuable content that shows them how to do the things that they need to do to get results in whatever it is that they uh, need to do, you know, whether they're entrepreneurs or whether they're consumers, you want to give them the content that they are looking for so that number one, you can be proactive. Um, you don't want people to have to go to Google and do a search. You want them to automatically think about your business when they have the problem that your business solves. So you're going to be following up on a regular basis. You're going to be creating that know, like, and trust factor with your audience. 
Number seven, you want to add internal links to other pages. So this means that if you have a blog, you want to add internal links to other pages on your social content. And the thing that that is going to do is when someone lands on your content, they're going to stay on your, on your blog a lot longer. If you have a YouTube channel, you want to make sure that you have relevant um, related videos that people can watch after they watch the initial video. That's going to keep them on your video channel for a longer period of time. So you want to do things that will keep people on your content for an extended period of time. You also, number eight, want to update your social media profiles. Guess what you want to include in your social media profiles? You want to send people from your social media profiles to your landing page. So on all of your social media profiles, you want to include that link to your landing page. And if someone wants to check you out or know more about your business, when they go to that landing page, that landing page should tell people who you are, what you do, how you help, and offer them your uh, lead magnet, that free resource, right? Okay, number nine, you want to promote your email opt-in landing page. So you want to promote this landing page on a regular basis. And here are uh, some additional tips to help you out in that area. So this landing page that we created in step four, you want to do things like keep the original goal in mind. Social media is designed to send people to your lead generation landing page so that you can build an audience. You want to tell people again who you are, what you do, and how you can help them. You want to sign up for social media business accounts. So you may have personal accounts um, for you know all of your social media posting for friends and family, but when you um, start a business, you want to make sure that you also sign up for business accounts. And that is going to give you access to analytics you can use to know what's working and what's not. And there again, you want to have a clear call to action in each post and in each piece of content. You want to optimize your social profile. So make sure that you're including that link to your lead generation landing page. You want to use hashtags. Relevant hashtags will extend the reach of each one of your posts. You want to post where your ideal customers hang out. So you want to create an account on all the social media platforms where your ideal customers are likely to hang out. And you want to make sure, again, that you have your uh, landing page in those social profiles. You want to become multifaceted. And what that means is you want to share your content across multiple platforms. Now, you may not be able to post on every single social media platform out there. However, you want to make sure that you prioritize at least two to three platforms that you can, um, you know, you can, um, number one, you want to automate this. So you want to automate those platforms that will allow you to, um, you know, create those social posts and put them on autopilot. You want to be consistent. And when you have automation that you're using, that is going to enable you to be consistent because you can set up these posts to go out one to three times per day. You can set them up once and forget about them until it's time to post again. You want to use images and videos. So most platforms now will allow you to use videos and you want to use videos because people relate more to the human face and the human voice. So when possible, you want to do voiceovers. You want to have the human face. You want to have content that your ideal customers will um, respond to. You want to do more of what's working. So that's why you want to measure and track your results. And when you do that, you're going to learn what's not working and what is working. And you want to do more of what's working. You want to test regularly. So you want to repeat what's working. You want to improve what's not working. And you want to test your content as needed. And again, you want to use automation tools. So social media automation tools like Tailwind will help you to become more consistent and get more done in less time. Number 10, 
So this is a bonus tool and it's called Tailwind. We use it um, because Tailwind not only um, allows you to automate your social media posting, but you can also use it to send out emails. Now you can use this for free to kind of test it out and see if it's something that you will uh, want to use or you can buy one of their plans and of course you can get more functionality when you are on one of their paid plans. So basically to wrap up, you want to take action. You want to incorporate these steps um, in your into your social media activity. All of this can be set up in an afternoon and you can do that by using some of the tools that we've talked to you about today. Um, but we're going to put together a quick little mini uh, course that you can take um, so that you can understand how all of this works together and how you can optimize your social media marketing for uh, this uh, quarter four um, holiday season. So if you want to get Tailwind, you can click on this button and um, that will take you to a page that will allow you to sign up for Tailwind and, um, and you can go from there, okay? So that is pretty much it. I'm done for today's um, training. I hope you've gotten something out of it. At least, I'm hoping you at least got one tip that you can incorporate into your, um, your business activity. But I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and look forward. It should be a link somewhere on this page that will allow you to um, sign up for our free mini course on social media. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a good day and I will see you in the training. Bye-bye.